Many young kids had large posters of a Ferrari or Porsche about their beds, but only because everybody knows about the F40 or 911. They were the pinnacle of previous years, but many other companies wanted to reach their levels as well with their own cars. Some of them were a failure, many were built in a very low number production, but they all are cool anyway, and let's get to know some of the least popular. <laughs> SSC Ultimate Aero TT The SSC Ultimate Aero's engine is based on the LS series with a built aluminium block and a supercharger. A few years after the initial introduction, the TT variant was shown featuring twin snails instead of the blower. Power output was boosted up by 150 horsepower. SSC did not stop there as they unleashed the 1300 horsepower Ultimate Aero XT with a 9200 RPM redline. Alpine A610 Turbo Back in times before the Alpine brand was temporarily defunct, there was an engine called PRV, developed by Peugeot, Renault and Volvo together. It appeared in plenty of different cars and unless there was a turbo hooked up to it, it was very slow. The A610 and its previous gen, the Renault Alpine GTA, both received the turbocharged variant, being capable of a respectable dynamic. Lamborghini Countach Turbo S An engineer Franz Albert was the guy who created possibly the first turbocharged Lamborghini. Actually, he slapped twins on the 4.8 liter and located a boost adjuster under the steering wheel to increase boost whenever from 0 0.0 to 1.5 bar. With the boost turned to max, the Turbo Countach was the most powerful Lamborghini from 1984 until the Centenario came along. Two specimens were built, but only one is known to exist. Noble M600 With a weight lower than an average passenger car and power as much as a Rolls Royce has, the Noble M600 is something very special. The carbon fiber material reasons the first, while such a strength comes from a twin turbocharged Yamaha engine, originally from the Volvo S80 and XC90 V8. Noble says that there are different power modes, starting as low as 456 horsepower. Schuppen 962CR If the name of Vern Schuppen is familiar to you, then you know he did great in the 80s, winning the 24 hours of Le Mans and Japanese championship of Group C cars. To celebrate, he borrowed an existing Porsche 962 chassis to create the Schuppen 962CR, which has basically the same 33 liter engine hidden under a different Porsche reminding look. Lotec Sirius Designed to be the world's first supercar, truly able to reach a 400 km per hour top speed, the Lotec Sirius was a Germany-based project which turned out to be a failure. 
The company never produced a second example, let alone a full series. Engine-wise, it was a Mercedes unit, utilized for a twin of KKK turbos, with a full boost of 1.2 bar. Venturi 400 GT The Venturi 400 GT wasn't any close to previous supercars power-wise, but amongst them it could be the most sold, as the company almost reached sales numbers of 750. The powerhouse was the same as the A610 had, the PRV, with something over 400 horsepower. It looked less as a spaceship and featured carbon brakes as the first car in the world. Laraki Epitome Originally from Morocco, the Epitome is the second supercar from the Laraki brand after the Fulgurua, which featured a quad turbocharged Mercedes V12. This new model is stuck with only a twin turbo LS7 installed in a C6 Corvette chassis. The base power output is said to be 1200 horsepower, but with annual modifications and a 110 octane fuel, it should be good for 1750 horsepower, supposedly for 2 million dollars. Lotus Elise GT1 7 race cars and just one road car is how many specimens of the Elise GT1 were actually built. There were 3 different powerhouses used, the Chevy LT5 twin turbo, Lotus's own flat plane V8 and the Viper V10. At the end, the Elise GT1 was an interesting project, being eventually a failure. Marussia B2 Based on an aluminum semi monocoque with carbon fiber body, the Marussia B2 is basically the B1 with a different cosmetic. It has an edgier design while keeping either the 3.5 litre V6 or the twin turbo 2800cc 6 cylinder with up to 426 horsepower, while there is a 2992 of the B1s, only 500 B2s were built. <laughs> <laughs> 